Hello. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to our discussion of Fear the Walking Dead, Episode 1. Oh. I'm Oxnard. I'm Dexter. I'm Buzz. And uh, we have watched the premiere episode of Fear the Walking Dead. Yes, we did. We made it through. Mm. It's an hour and a half. Only together did we make it through. <laughs> Man, what a... Uh, boss was very adamant what a piece that of we uh, get this review out. But uh, my plan originally was to just uh, you know watch a few episodes, put up a little review. But uh, this could be like an introductory review yeah. for everybody. What beer mm-hmm. are you drinking, Dexter? Uh, this uh, special beer that Oxnard purchased from a brewery mm. in Pennsylvania. In Switzerland. Leuerbacher. And oh. it's a Belgium. What do you think? Ooh, that's a uh, strong flavor. Mm, it's nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 strong flavor of shit. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> All right, so here well, are our thoughts. I mean, I, I, I watched. Let's talk about it. I Let's wrap. I watched the first three minutes because they released the first three minutes, and it was like you could tell it was going to be awful. Did you watch the first three minutes? Dexter told me about on? it. I never so, got around to seeing it. No, I um I saw that they like on Twitter. I I saw that you know you could check out as a preview. Yeah. So was it just that opening scene with the kid? Yeah. Yeah. And he sees a zombie and, it and everyone's like, check out the intense yeah. three minute first three minutes. First of all, there was nothing intense about that at all. I about thought it was the, a, about I, the hour and a half. I thought it was a young girl that was waking up. Okay, and then yes, I yes. okay, and also he's wearing a, a girl's cardigan or something. Yes, it like, and it was a very annoying shirt. The way it was flapping it on his body. I don't think it had buttons. It would just. It was just. I don't know. No, yeah, I, I don't know. No, <laughs> no, yeah, really it confused. Didn't. It's like an overall. No, like I looked. Coverall. Yeah, the sad thing is, like five seconds in, it, we're not the target. Of that's oh, the first thing. No. That, it's that, obviously <laughs> targeted for teens. Tweens, tweens yes. and teens. Who like, who like clean, yeah. hairless chests. Yes. Girly chests. We should all and say. 45-year-old divorcees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We all have very hairy, well-developed, yes. masculine chests. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The way it Lumberjack be. chests. Yes. Mm-hmm. And honestly, Everything is hairy. Mm. <laughs> it, it saddens me when I see so little hair. On a male of the species. That's, that bothers me too. <laughs> it, does it. it does. But he is a drug addict. He is a drug addict. Does so that help? He doesn't know. It, the drugs make him shave his it's, chest, probably. Oh. I was going to say, in Game of Thrones. <laughs> he goes insane. <laughs> how come in Game of Thrones, whenever a guy gets nude, completely hairless? I hate yeah. that too. And I know they had that Even scene. Even the guys with. They have beards. They had that scene with Renly and uh, the Knight of. Roses and he's shaving him, but is everyone doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you are, how many people like, can Renly shave? Yeah, Renly <laughs> like, does the mountain shave his chest. Renly is royalty, so obviously he's being catered to and all that shit. But like, if, you know, some other guy takes his, you know, clothes it should, off. It should just be Bush. Yeah, who's and the they stink. Who's the guy yeah. Daenerys is with? Uh, Dario. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Dario oh, Naharis. Yeah. That should guy's be a hairy, hairless. Hairy yeah. He should be a hairy be. beast. And, what, oh, be. and it, fine, if you shave yourself, that's fine. But you have to use... You're using like a sword or a blunt blade or <laughs> yeah. something, I imagine. Like, you, you're going to have some nicks like, there, yeah. okay? And that's you definitely it. have tetanus, so... Yeah, among other things. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, anyway, we've right. gotten into... Back to the walking... Well, we'll, have, the we'll walking continue game. our shaving and Game of Thrones discussion <laughs> later. <laughs> it's funny, too, because... when the mics are off. <laughs> it's funny, because my notes my notes here are... Uh, the second notes is, uh, you want to button your shirt, question mark? <laughs> the third one is... Boss no, cannot abide. The third one's no shirt. chest hair, equal pathetic. And then the, the next <laughs> okay. one is... Wow. Doesn't ha- even have buttons. Shirt doesn't even have buttons. Made for a girl. <laughs> Obsessed with the cardigan. I don't Those know. are his that's only a, notes. Obviously, that's what they're showing us for the first three minutes. That's Well, it was him walking I around mean, confused. I'm trying to think, what is their goal? They want me to keep watching, so they show me this three minutes. So they must think that I want to see his bare chest. Every scene was constructed like that, though. Yeah. Yes. A lot of walking around or just nothing happening, kind of trying to build up to something, but then there's no payoff. Mm-hmm. It builds up to nothing. Right. A lot of so really, this episode was just building to like the third or fourth episode. Sorry, Oxnard, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, a lot of unnecessary slow motion for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like when he's running away in the street? Yeah. That was really weird looking. He looked terrible. That, first of all... 
that guy like, it didn't look like he wanted to be in slow motion. He made he was making some <laughs> insane faces. <laughs> Yes. This can we talk about this actor <laughs> sure. for a second? I like that he first he's the I think he's the best actor in the show. Oh, which is saying nothing about good about the show. <laughs> but, shit about everyone else. I think he's putting really the most into it. Most right? He's really he's there's, really there's, going all out. I won't deny the effort. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I every, give him points for that. Making every face possible. He is, he is running the gamut of every emotion that he's ever felt. <laughs> One has to be right. He's calling back to, like, through his emotional history every five seconds. <laughs> he's reliving every traumatic event in his childhood. But not just traumatic. Right. You're Happy. coming out of the womb. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more. what he's thinking okay. when he's driving the car. That's yeah. the face for driving the car to hit. What's that guy's <laughs> name? Nick? I don't know. Or Calvin? <laughs> the only one I know is Tobias. Oh yeah, Nick was hitting Calvin. Oh, Tobias! Oh my god! But that guy was, and he was walk. He's always stumbling around. Where, like, oh, I said when we were watching it, I think his inspiration for this character was uh, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. yes. Ooh, ooh. He always just he had a shirt weird like that movement. Too, right? He's just trying to be Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> like wearing weird clothes, uh-huh. dirty hair, and weird weird movements. It's bizarre. Oh. All right, so uh, the parents. Let's get to those guys. Oh, so wait, hold on. They're in the yes. house. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. no, we are getting to the parents though. This is okay. the first time we see them in yes. the house. The girls taking a shower, mm-hmm. and then the parents are talking, and then the phone rings. Yes. And they're like totally shocked. They, they, yeah, they're like something, <laughs> something bad happened. They, they never, be... they never knew that phone was yeah, there. Yeah, daughter comes be... out of the shower with the, the towel phone. on, going. I had to stop the shower. Yeah. What's this sound that I've never heard? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. What, is this the only emergency phone? Yeah. Is that what? What, what the hell is that? <laughs> and what, what is, is that noise rain? it's making? I was like, I was so confused. Yeah, so was I. Because they, the whole structure of the first thing, too, it, it, right from the very beginning was when, when Nick, right? That's the character's name. He's in the church. Uh, yeah. And, like, your so. first thought is... My first thought was, "Oh, he's a junkie," but I, I thought, I think, I thought they were trying to set it up like the apocalypse has already happened, right, yeah, right. and this is like a safe haven, yeah, because you see all the jugs of like the uh, bottles of stuff, and I guess. sleeping kind of quarters <laughs> made up, trying to be clever with it, and yeah, it wasn't clever. No, I, I, yeah. I mean, I think they tried to do that. Maybe in the back of your mind, you weren't sure, but then yeah. you realized that because then, yeah. that's why when. They pan out. Now they were trying to do that. I realize because yeah. they have the dramatic. That they have the dramatic shot. I mean, looking up at the yeah. city. Here's you modern think, day. They accomplished it, but still, it's like okay. Yeah, but it wasn't fooling anyone. But they kept trying to do that then with everything, like the phone ringing, and then you find out, oh, that's their. Yeah, that's when she her goes kid. into the room where the uh, the principal of the, of the school is there, just kind of hunched over, right? And she's like trying to get his attention, and it turns. You think he's going to turn around and be a zombie, but right? Well, oh, I'm just doing my evaluation <laughs> yeah. of teachers. I'm just half-assing my job. I'm just spying yeah. on the, the teachers, and uh, <laughs> with right. like a 1930s switchboard. <laughs> a lot of the stuff was like too old. Like the, his truck was too old, with a broken windshield, with a horribly broken windshield. But they kept trying to like build up. Oh, okay, he's related to them. Oh, okay, this guy is not the dad. He's like the boyfriend. They right. reveal that, like, just and then and then it seems overly complicated. That this is the problem I have with it is that there's so many perspectives you can have for a zombie apocalypse outbreak. So like, why did they choose that? Like, there's yeah. nothing interesting about it. Have it take place. I was telling you, like. Uh, an Alaskan base or something where they're researching bacteria mm. and then there's like an outbreak or have it take place with like a hermit who lives like on an island. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah, who like, who never contacted humanity and then finally maybe one day, okay, it's time to go back to humanity and that's a zombie outbreak but he has so many survival skills. Back hosts. to humanity? Yeah, <laughs> like he's like, I've had enough of this. Right. No, or like a message arrives. I'm horny. Yeah. <laughs> I need to back <laughs> Years of a woman, <laughs> like that, you get straight to the point. There's no like. There's just one dramatic shot. There's one dramatic shot, and it's just zooming in to the island towards this cave, and it just he guy just stands up and goes, "I'm horny." And then, Time to go. And then it's a quick montage of him packing his bags and <laughs> off to the big city. <laughs> Butt plugs, dildos, you name it, he's how, got it. How we not all these yeah. things? Is anyone's guess? Um, the other scenario I would put up, but I know it would take a big budget, is like, you know, the International Space Station. 
Like they're just Ooh, out, yes. out in space, and then on Earth, they're just getting feedback. Oh my God, the zombie outbreak is happening, and you just get that. There was a movie. It was called uh, a Pot Deploy, something like that. But he was ba- he was like a radio guy. <laughs> Pot Deploy. It was it was a weird name like it, but he was a radio guy and. The zombie outbreak. Oh, I saw the beginning of that. Yes. When there, it's like a radio Ponty talk Pool. show, right? Ponty Pool. I, I have no Ponty idea Pool. what it's called. You know, I can look it up. I believe it's Ponty Pool, and he's a radio DJ. He's like a Howard Stern type, like a shock jock. Oh, I think yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. And then what starts to happen is like there's something in the vocabulary of the English language that when you repeat it causes people to enter this trance and they become a zombie. Ponty Pool. Yeah, Ponty Pool. Psychological thriller in which a deadly virus yeah. infects a small and it all town. takes place yeah. within the radio studio. Yeah. Like, something like, like, it's just an interesting take. You know, and just the fact, like, it's so obvious you would just pick, oh, here's a family, they have some problems. Oh, my God, the son's a heroin addict, and he's going through withdrawals, and oh, my God, the zombie apocalypse is happening with this? What could happen next? There's so much drama. It's just like, no, man. It, like, I'm not interested in that. None of these characters We know what me. happens already. So if they're trying to do just, like, a character study... In this context, yeah, and yeah. then they failed because it's boring yeah. and it's not right. so and original, it's, and, and it's uh, and they make it all suspect. Like they put on this, the music is ridiculous. To me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, like, ah! like, exactly. It's not like an Inception. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like I felt like it was gonna be like the Dark Knight, like title credit comes up suddenly. Yeah, like as as the viewer, we know when there's gonna be zombies. <laughs> and then when the the stepfather or whatever goes to the church and sees that there's blood, there's like music again. Like yeah, yeah we know that. We, when we that, know that really happens. When the tweaker comes out <laughs> of nowhere, <laughs> tweaker. Why would you go to that? How place? long was that guy there? Just after, behind that door. Yeah. Yeah. Is he just hiding out behind that door after that? Uh, what's her Gloria <laughs> for like two glow glow so glow eating everyone's faces. Oh, she, glow. She was. Uh, yeah, she was there. Here's the other thing. Oh, what and happened? then I nodded off. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, she was there. Yeah. Oh. What there happened? Was blood. What happened to yeah. Gloria? I that don't was know. The other question. What yeah. happened to anyone in there except for the guy who was alive? Right. Well, obviously, there's a zombie in there. That zombie's going to get up. Someone has to report it. Someone has to see something see, happening. Well, how about this? The police are are questioning him, right? And then later, the mom's like, oh. That that's a that's a drug den. Bad things happen there. How does she knows this? But the police they don't know this. Well, no, they, she's, they don't she's go more... to the drug den and investigate. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> what's go, what's she, going on? Well, no, he wasn't because he didn't tell them. He didn't tell them. He told Travis. She knows where it is. Yeah. How did the cops not know? Because he always goes there. He was like he was half a block away from it. He ran he in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Now, and the other thing, it, it more just sounded bad, like, first of all, she's a guidance counselor at her school. She's a shit guidance counselor, and she's a shitty is mom. Is that what she is? Well, she's first like of all, they, they, it seems like they tried to set up, like, she might be a lawyer, because when she goes into the hospital... I thought she worked at the hospital. The cops were, like, questioning the kid, and she does, like, the, you know, Saul Goodman approach. It's like, okay, time is to get out. Is he arrest? Like, get out. Yeah, hey, get, get the... Get out of here! But then they reveal, oh, no, she's a guidance counselor, but I guess she has so much experience with these types of kids. And also, these we don't know how many times this has happened with her son. Yeah, but uh, I, I thought they were, like, trying to be smart about it. Like, oh, you thought she was a lawyer, didn't you? Guess again, she's a guidance counselor. Yeah. Isn't this show amazing? Fuck you. Los <laughs> Angeles? Before? Wow. Oh, you thought it was a zombie apocalypse? Turns out it wasn't, because here's modern-day L.A. Another scenario that would have been more interesting is to, like, follow, like, from the perspective of the authorities. Like, let's find out, like, like a cop. You know what I mean? It's like a rookie cop, and he's just started on the job, and he's with, like, a veteran partner. I guess they already started with the cops. They were thinking that might... I oh, guarantee yeah. they probably thought about that, but it's too yeah. similar. That's, to I, that still would have been more interesting. Yeah. I yeah. would have much preferred that Because anyway. the cop wouldn't have been in the coma for weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, right. yeah, what happens with Rick like getting into the coma, is, and it's like a small town, this mm. is like a big city, I would have been fine if they had like a half hour of like a great like cop drama, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. and then out of nowhere, like you forget that you're watching The Walking the Dead, beat. and then out of nowhere Donut you have shop. the zombie See, that, that's issue. The weird th- I think that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to show you this drama, and they thought you would be so... You, they were hoping you would forget you're watching The Walking Dead, but they just failed so bad. They shouldn't have called it Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have put a zombie in the first ninety if seconds. Were, if they were smart, they should have just yeah, just announced a new AMC show, 
never give a hint that has anything to do with yeah. The Walking Dead. And that at the end of the season for me are just like, oh, by the way, yeah, this takes place in The Walking Dead universe. That would have been smart to do because yeah. people would be like, what the what? fuck? So okay, nobody would have watched it. Oh, yeah, it. you wouldn't have seen that coming. Yeah, they had the they had like a record for most. I views understand. Okay, a bunch of people watch TV shit. show. Yeah. That's what they got. They okay. should have yeah, brought Beth was. back for the for the <laughs> oh, new yeah, series. The fans wanted. Yeah. They should have just called Beth the Walking Dead, and it's about Beth's story. It's about Beth and her guitar. She's in the hospital. I thought She's Beth born. didn't die. Yeah, Beth. viewers love the Walking yeah, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> the Walking Dead. <laughs> what pissed me off is that the main character. Is, is is who so who is the main I character? I think can't right. I think it's the family is the main character versus The Walking Dead with Rick Ryan. I like Rick Ryan. I think he's awesome. Yeah, but you start see, with him, and and now we go to this kid. That, I have to watch this kid. Rick, which one's the that? Sheriff. Rick is the oh, guy. No, I thought you were talking about the show. I oh no, no, Rick happen. from The Walking Dead. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. How do we go from him to this kid? That's what I want to know. As like main character. What they were trying to put those similarities in because he wakes up in a hospital in The Walking Dead and this kid goes to a hospital I and then he... Guess. I don't know. It's just stupid. I don't know. I think I was thinking more of like, this is going to show, you know, how the virus or whatever caused the right. v- zombie apocalypse to happen and instead it was a boring like web series quality writing and acting. Well, exactly. But they're going to... I liked the... Some of the web series stuff better. I did than like this. the web series. Some of them, yeah. That's like true. the one, the one with the. I like the one with the birthday party. What about storage? The Reference storage one. and the storage one. <laughs> storage is good. The storage one. I was thinking about it <laughs> today. One. That one. That was creepy. Yeah. Because that guy had the rape room. Right. Spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah. 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 The annoying guy. That was good. Lost. There was action. Yeah, that was good. The first one with the birthday. You like that? Wasn't one? that one? No. Wasn't that the that reference? The birthday party. That was terrible. And it was the guy. Wasn't there something? And the morgue one was stupid, too. (laughs) There was one in the morgue. No, the hospital with the DKs. Yeah, with the great... Yeah. The DKs. (laughs) DKs. Donkey Kong? (laughs) Um, I like that one. I like that one, okay. Those two I liked, but the first one I thought was just Yeah, that was... Was that the one? That was the first one. Was the one where how, the you find out how the mom becomes the yeah, becomes that person that zombie. Rick sees. Yeah, yeah. On the side of the road. Okay, that one wasn't the birthday one. I think that was the birthday. Yeah, oh, that okay. Was the birthday All right, there. never mind. I thought it was a separate one. I was thinking of when they had the conversation in the basement or something. Okay, rewatch the first anyway, web series. Whatever. And change your mind immediately. Irrelevant. <laughs> right. No, no. I'm just saying. I'm not saying I liked it better than this. This series have a web series. <laughs> they oh, should. Man. It's going to be so bad. <laughs> Watch, it's we amazing. Have, we have to Watch, it's like unbelievable. It follows what happened to Glow. <laughs> what happened to Glow? Just Web case, series. Just a kid shooting heroin for like two minutes. That would have been cool. And they, they could have based it on a little kid shooting up zombies inside an orphanage. All right, what else? So, shocking twist. They visit Nick's old dealer, that one kid, oh, yeah. Calvin. Okay. And turns out, he's like, oh no, I haven't seen him, and I'm not doing any drugs or anything. Certainly not dealing them. Guess what? He is. And he was going to kill Nick. But Nick killed him. So and then he was a zombie. And it was the first zombie we saw. The first walker, DK, rotter, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. At the very end. Basically, it's, we're supposed to think it starts from some drug or some needle. No, they don't even explain no, it. Like no, that's... Uh, Tiberius, what is his name? Tobias. Tobias oh, is yes. the one who had the foresight. Right. Some fat kid with some... <laughs> with oh, yes. Let's talk about hair. Tobias. Hey, let's talk about when he goes into the school. Doesn't she plant something on him? What does she do? She she takes change out of her purse, and then she sticks... So they have metal detectors at the schools, I guess, to deter... You know, because oh, I'm sure they okay. have issues. You know, I don't change know, I is, guess... I don't think change makes a metal detector go off. Apparently here it does. Mm. Anyway, so she knows that he's brought something in... Mm-hmm. Uh, that he shouldn't. Right. It's very obvious. Just, she pretends like it was change. Excuse me. <laughs> she doesn't want the uh, him to get the attention of the police because he knows he's like a troubled kid. Yeah, I guess. And That's so she pretends. Acne. Yeah. yeah. Some really fake. Well, he's a thir- acne. he's a thirty five year old who's still in high school with acne. <laughs> I was telling Dexter. Obviously, he's troubled. <laughs> yeah. He looked like an actor out of Wet Hot American Summer with the fake wig. <laughs> he looked like a fat Dimitri Martin. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah. You. He looked like a fat version of Dimitri Martin. Um, and then yeah, she brings him to his office. 
to her office, and then she pulls the knife out of his pocket, and he basically just stuffed a steak knife <laughs> yeah. into his fucking sweatshirt Let pocket. Him eat. The kid's hungry. I, I don't understand that. And then, well, the school lunches, you know, they serve meatloaf. The real the, tough. The knife that he gave us isn't, isn't worth. Yeah, isn't good enough to cut through the meat. And then uh, he's kind of uh, cryptically provides. Some, you know, yeah. exposition as to what's happening in the outside because world with this the virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You need to stay offline. Yeah. yeah. Apparently the internet has given him foresight into the zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I don't understand. Why do you need this? And he's like, oh, I got uh, receiver in numbers. <laughs> like, muttering onto himself. <laughs> and it's like, what? What? So, and then he just kind of, like I said, cryptically, sheepishly provides little hints of information like this <laughs> stupid conspiracy that he yeah. has um, about oh across five states they don't know what is is it a microbe mm. um, and then she's like just go to cl- get out of here so <laughs> you've let a kid who you already know is troubled and brought a knife to school with him who's raving about zombies it's or fine. something and we need to protect ourselves and he's so terrified that he brought a knife to school you just let him go Good guidance counselor. <laughs> <Right down. laughs> Go to class. That happens all the time. Yeah. But she, oh, he's like, here, have your knife back. Yeah, same thing in the hospital when he goes to investigate, like, the church, and he's like, oh, it's bad there. And she's like, oh, that's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, the way it bad is. things happen. I don't bad believe things happen. you. Yeah. Well, it's probably, it's a dangerous thing. It's probably if somebody got shot. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares about that? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I so. Oh, my son, uh, Nick, he's fine. He's just got to get the junk out of his system. <laughs> Happened to me when I was on heroin. Happened to you when you were, you know, I mean, like, how many times have they all been through this? <sighs> oh, my God. But then she's upset about it. I feel like you didn't need the daughter in the whole episode. If you needed anything. Like, it brought nothing Well, their relationship it. is just smoldering hot. Oh, yeah. The daughter and the boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He stood right in front of her with his her, his. I'm assuming. Oh like, yeah, he put his dick in her face, like, basically. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and, and the angle that they had, and she's just staring right at it. <laughs> I'm assuming that the daughter is going to play into some of the following episodes. I'm assuming. <laughs> Who but, knows? Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> they Who the hell knows? Text more. Yeah. Well, he's not answering. Or kill herself when her phone dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't text zombies. <laughs> and then they were up. It was very confusing when they were hanging out up at the lights by the football field or whatever that was. Yes. Right. Now, the thing I wanted to say is like, remember at the end of that whole scene, they show where they are. And you at see, the end. Yeah, at the end. They should have started with that because yes. the whole time I'm thinking, how the fuck did they get up there? That's just bad fall? directing. Yeah, it's it, poor editing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm the director. And the then, whole thing uh, is fucked. And then that heart, he starts drawing a heart, and then you're like, yeah, oh, and then you drawing... look at it, and it was like... The first time you see him drawing the heart, you think, oh, it's going to be this nice, beautiful, like, yeah. serif, like, calligraphy heart. And then they come back to it, it looks like fucking, like, like a... Like a <laughs> Insane heart. Yeah, like it's a, a lightning swirl. Drag, jagged edges. Yeah. Ugh. Wow, what an artist. Yeah, great. Oh, um, boy. Meet me at Venice Beach, and I'll finish this. <laughs> yeah. And you won't have your stupid family around. Now, why didn't the boyfriend make it to the beach? I guess he's a zombie. We don't know. I guess he's Because what happens is, Travis and... He I can't, don't even know the girlfriend's name, the mom of those two kids. Uh, the two whiny kids and the drug addict. Oh, and his kid's an annoying whiner. Right? I think... Uh, that you see for two minutes. Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah. They're driving on the freeway, and there's some traffic, and you see lights up ahead for, from a police car. And then you hear, they don't know what's going on. You hear gunshots, and they're like, and there's helicopters above them. They're like, oh, get back in the car. Let's get out of here. So then they go back on the freeway and avoid it. And then everybody is obsessed suddenly with this shooting that mm-hmm. happened. Which and apparently, apparently has like five different angles from five different cameras. Even like from the cop's point of view. <laughs> the, copter, the copter angle, I, I understand that. But it, it's when they're looking in school and they see him being shot. Who's shooting yeah. that? And yes. even if it's a body cam... <laughs> My thought was like, okay, I'm it's sir? like a police officer has a body cam on. Police right. situation. But that wouldn't be released like that to the public, and then you can just watch it, like, yeah. stream it over and over again right. online. Like, yeah. news, the news wouldn't That's immediately have the police body cam. Right. I don't know. It didn't but make any sense. the lawyers would withhold it. And, and then what does the one girl say that we thought was a boy? Uh, 
Um, this is the new something. Headshot. Head, headshot, bitch. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I don't even remember. Hashtag headshot, bitch. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Wow. And it was just so boring. <laughs> Can you believe Amazing Larry? I thought that was going to be good. Amazing Larry. No, Amazing Larry was <laughs> like us because we were all hoping this has got to be better than The Walking Dead. <laughs> Amazing Larry was giving me shit because he was like, because I complained about it on Twitter. I said it was boring and shitty, uh, and then he was he was saying that I've watched. Uh, uh, well, here I'll bring up the Twitter. For those of you who don't know, uh, Amazing Larry is our super fan. <laughs> where are you guys? You're the other super fans. <laughs> yeah, where oh, are man. The... <laughs> so I, because I had tweeted it was uh, boring and shitty, and then he said, "Let me get this straight. You've watched five seasons of the shittiest The Walking Dead, of the shit fest The Walking Dead, but this is already worse after seventy four minutes." No. <laughs> hey, look. And then he, <laughs> we were talking about, it, and then we were talking about how crappy because I like The Walking Dead. Well, but then we were talking on Twitter about it because and he made good. a good point because he said that the uh, the Walking Dead went downhill from the pilot right. <laughs> because the first the season is really good, good and the pilot's amazing and then it just Second slowly sta- it slowly it starts to get a it, little bit worse. Didn't it spike? When it I did. Watching? Well, yeah, that it season was, was it good. It had peaks and valleys because right. there was stuff in the second season that, that was, was boring. Yeah. The second season is not worth watching. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there was peaks and valleys, but the last season that we watched was so particularly bad. I f- like I, I haven't read so, the comics, yeah. but it felt like they were stretching. Like oh. I could just detect that like it seems like we should be reaching a point here, but they're not letting us get to that point because they want to do this for some reason. But amazing uh, right, exactly. So but what amazing Larry said he said uh that point of it got worse, the Walking Dead got a little bit worse as the from the pilot went downhill from the pilot. And that he's uh, kind of expecting this is going to be like a slow build, but then it's really going to get nuts. <laughs> Here's the thing. And I think he's really trying to be hopeful. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yes. <laughs> Breaking Bad was a slow build. You know what I'm saying? People have trouble with the first few episodes. But you My watched... wife did, and oh, I was visiting friends, and uh, they, he, a friend of mine, he hasn't watched it. Because he couldn't get into it, and he only watched like the first couple of episodes. I said, just keep watching, because it's going to blow your mind. All right, Breaking Bad for me. Like, I watched the first episode. I understand it's a slow build, and you have to get into it. But the, at the very end of the first episode, like, I was hooked. Yeah. This episode, I think they were trying to do a similar thing. It's like a slow build with people I don't give a fuck about. And then, oh, there's a zombie. Oh, okay. But I've seen tons of zombies already. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. it's like... <laughs> Why am I watching? That's what, you have to do something different. Plus, it they don't look like cool zombies because they're new. Right. That's the other thing. Yeah, so right. the it, one of the cool things about The Walking Dead is like the makeup right. and There's the effects look really, zombie. really They've been great. Out in the wilderness for like months, yeah. just traversing. Yeah. The trees they're so scratched. decayed and like and yeah, gnarly. Uh, this just kind of seems lame. Yeah. And cheap. Mm-hmm. We've seen. it. I don't know and why, we know what's going to happen. Sh- Want to show us something we've seen, but lesser. Here, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, we know what's going to happen. Right. We know that the the zombie apocalypse is coming. So why drag it out to get to that point? I, I, it should. I want to watch the just the very beginning of it. The very beginning of this episode, the first three minutes could have been the very beginning of just this family's. Suddenly, the apocalypse is here. Right. Yeah. And and it comes out of nowhere. And now, how do you deal with it? And, and that could have been it. I don't need three episodes of character development, and then it finally hits. Because I mm-hmm. I know it's going to happen. So yeah, that's, that's a stupid thing. Give like, me the character development as they're... they're doing their sp- character will be revealed through the the, the crisis. Yeah, you're doing a spinoff of a well-known series. So if you're going to do that, you know, don't do the thing, like, oh, we'll play it safe and just make it, oh, well, they'll be, uh, they'll connect with this family because most families watch this. No, like, you need to present something that totally just into your head and you're like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like, present the zombie outbreak in a way that's just shocking. Creative? Interesting. Yeah. Creative? <laughs> I'm saying, throw Is that so much to ask for? <laughs> I don't like, know. If this episode ended with, uh, Upside down cross and like Satan laughing with a portal opening with zombies coming out. That's it. I will. I'm like, I'll watch that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna watch that because I'm like, oh, I did not see that coming. Yes. Like something like that, or show like something from space came and that's what causes zombies. Like, 
Obviously, oh, okay, it's just some disease that happens. You know, it's just boring. You could have even done, like, a kind of uh, crummy horror movie where it's, like, teens trying to, like, do, like, some satanic ritual. I, I you know what I mean? Movie, um... And it's like, oh, what's happening? You know, or, like, doing, like, some typical, like, scary thing at, like, a sleepover. And they're like, oh, you know, stop kidding around. Yeah. Stop kidding around. Come on, Blake. Stop, you know what I mean? It's not It's not funny anymore. And then he's like, Bleh. I would. that would have been more interesting. Right. The cliched uh, horror movie scenario. I saw that uh, this movie, I think it was called Infested or something like that. It's basically this uh, this girl. This, the dog's barking. This girl has sex with this guy at some party. She gets too drunk and she has sex with this guy. And this guy also works at a morgue. And this yeah. guy like has sex with corpses. Fiona, it's okay. <laughs> Close the door on her. And so this guy has sex with corpses, yeah. and then he goes out and gives these girls a disease. I was telling you about this. Yeah, and, that uh, is a really interesting idea. And so this girl slowly... <laughs> I should try it. Yeah. Over the, <laughs> sex with corpses? <laughs> no, over the course right of the movie, she's slowly <laughs> decomposing from the inside out. Ooh. And so um, at the end of the movie, the twist is that she is patient zero. She's the first mm-hmm. zombie, and the movie ends with her driving her car, and she just dies, and it's black screen, I think, for like 10 seconds, and you think the movie's over. But then she wakes up, and you just see she's surrounded by police, and her mother's there, and she attacks her, and then you realize, oh shit, this was a zombie movie the whole time, Yeah. but you had no idea. That was the brilliance of that movie. That's why they should have made this show, like, don't market it as a Walking Dead bullshit whatever. Like, you should have just started as, like, here's a dramatic series about a cop or this family, and they're dealing with the heroin addict. Oh, what? By the end, oh, it's yeah. Walking Dead. Sound like that. Why are you biting me? Yeah, sound like that. Or, <laughs> yeah, but see, they they had to capitalize. The, the whole point they even made the spinoff is to, to capitalize on say, boss, The Walking Dead. They, like, broke records, the ratings. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I guess it worked. Money, at the end of the day, is what speaks, but artistically, it's just, it looks like trash. I right? think you threw out this idea before. It should just be a dog's perspective. Yes! That was, awesome. was that movie? <laughs> there was a, wasn't there a movie, like a VHS movie that yes with the go the guys wearing the gopro camera and was, then he gets killed it's it was, like a zombie attack it's all the camera's still going it was a v, <laughs> it's called vhs2 and uh it's like an anthology movie where it's all found footage and one of the short uh movies is that they strap a gopro to the top of the dog's head and they have a slumber party these kids mm. and then during the slumber party aliens invade oh and so you see yes. the whole thing through the dog's yeah. as he's running around and yeah. carrying the dog, right. and then the yeah. dog starts barking, and the aliens all look at the same time. It's, oh, God. It's pretty creepy. Uh, the yeah. other creepy one was the devil birth. <laughs> That's also VHS, too. Um, Holy shit. That was a pretty crazy movie, <laughs> yes. actually. I gotta, I gotta give credit you, to that movie. They, they made a third one. It was called VHS... Um, three? <laughs> no, not VHS three. VHS... <laughs> Two and a half. Uh, Oh, Two and three quarters. It was like VHS remix or something like that. Okay. It was it was not good. But there's only one <laughs> sh- there's only one short film in there where it's really really cool. It, this guy it takes place in Spain, so it's all subtitled. Mm-hmm. And so this guy is like a scientist in his basement. And he's building like this portal. <laughs> and so finally the portal works, and he has his video camera. Psh, opens up, and he looks inside, and it's his exact house, but a mirror image. So he opened up like a parallel dimension, yeah. and he sees himself, and he's like, hey. Hey, oh, como estas? Oh, si, sí, si. Sí. Hey, and he's like, you know what? Do you want to come in here for 15 minutes and I'll go in there for 15 minutes? And so they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes to the other side and the other guy comes here. And then what the guy starts to realize is he's going up the stairs. Uh, the, the other guy from the other dimension goes up the stairs and he sees their wedding picture. And he's like, what are these people doing? He goes up the stairs. He goes up and he sees their wedding picture. And it's like a pentagram with candles. And he's oh! like, this is weird. Oh. And so he goes and sees his wife, and there's like two other guys in a hot tub, and it's like it seems like these guys are ready for like an orgy or oh something. My oh my god! And so what happened? The the twist is that in this other universe, God doesn't exist. They all hail Satan. Oh, that's the main. Yes. That's like the main and then, deity that you know. It's a Christian. Like every single Satanism. one of these short stories have like a big thing. So what happens is uh, the guys. You know, they leave the house. They don't want to have, like, an orgy anymore because he's feeling, like, weird out and he wants to go back. And so he goes outside because he sees this huge Zeppelin going by and it's like... And he looks up and has, like, an inverted uh, upside-down cross on it. And then he sees the guys get in the car and he's like, Hey, man, well, how come you don't want to do it? And then their eyes started glowing and he starts running away. And then they lift their pants. And there's this huge, weird penis tentacle thing. Oh, uh, What? Of- Oh. And then he runs back in the house. He kills one of the guys. He runs back in the house, and the wife is like, "Oh, I get it. You wanted me all to yourself." And she reveals herself, and she has this huge 
disgusting, <laughs> like, cavern his vagina with, like, daggers. Oh, and my stuff. God! And, and so, like, he's just running. <laughs> and meanwhile, in the other dimension, the other guy finds his wife sleeping in his bed. Oh, no. And he tries to have sex with her with oh. his demon dick. And, kill, oh, no. and kills her with his demon dick. No, that's the weird thing, because... She likes it. No, no, no. She's <laughs> into it. Oh. No, the guy runs back. <laughs> yeah. And he's like... I don't like your... Dim- the demon guy goes, I don't like your dimension. And he runs through. And then the wife comes out. She's all bloody. And she has a knife. And then she just starts stabbing the guy. And that's how the movie ends. Oh, what? because she doesn't know. She doesn't know? She doesn't know what she's, happened. She's now turned into some demon no, I, person? Oh, okay. I think it's like she... He, like, tried to have sex with her. She is understandably horrified <laughs> when she discovers he has a big tentacle I, I'll, penis. I'll show it to you guys. And then but... she's, like, trying to protect herself, and so she can't tell the difference between yeah. the two, and so she stabs him to death. It's really... Dude, that's fucking disturbing. That is stir- <laughs> that's the best short film. All the other short films are just, like, garbage. But that, that yeah. was the one that stood out. Like, Ooh. every single VHS has, like, one film that stands out, and you're like... Ooh, that's a creepy, that's really scary disturbing. idea. That reminds me slightly, only because of the parallel universe stuff of the show Fringe that was on Fox, which oh, is actually a really, really good show. And I think Boston would really like it. And I think you would also like it too, Oxnard. Is that on Netflix? It should be on Netflix. It was. That's where I watched it. The okay. series had ended. Um, but it was kind of like... It almost filled like an X-Files gap to me. I think J.J. Mm-hmm. Abrams actually... Uh, was behind that show. Like a producer or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, but it's all... And John John Noble, who was uh, Denethor in Lord of the Rings, uh, the steward of Gondor, he plays... Mine. <laughs> hey, he plays uh, like a... Uh, basically like a mad scientist. Um, and uh, it, it gets into like a whole kind of... Oh, so I can't get into it. I'll be talking for hours. And it's I don't want to spoil anything. It's an excellent show. If you haven't watched it, anybody out there, check it out. See, uh, my next Netflix binge watch, it was going to be Mad Men, but now I think it might be American Horror Story. Oh, yeah. 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 So I'll see. Yeah, I never watched American Horror Story. My wife likes it. I'm honestly... I'm on like a horror thing too... it's getting closer to Halloween. Oh, yeah. And I like scary stuff. I'm almost like... I'm too nervous to watch it. I don't want to be scared. That's... I'm a wuss with a lot of stuff. I actually want to not see, zombie stuff. I want to see uh, <laughs> Creep Show, uh, Creep Show Two. Uh, oh yeah, I think there was a Stephen King short story is one of the featured ones. It's like these kids go out to a lake and there's this black mass in the lake, and then one of the kids reaches out and first of all, there's like a raft in the middle of the lake. You know when you go swimming in a watering in a in a watering in a hole. watering <laughs> watering hole or like a lake, you swim out. There's always yeah. like a platform you can dive off of. Yeah. Always. Like a dock. Always so a platform. They swim out there and they're on the yeah, dock and then one of the guys, what is that black mask? There's this black mask going through the thing and so one of the kids reaches out. It's just a guy and then it starts a whole race thing. And so this black, <laughs> this black slime just covers the guy's arm, Ugh. starts eating away the flesh and drags him in. And Ugh. so now they're stuck on this platform. Whoa. <laughs> and that's like the whole short story. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's like from the '80s though. I've never seen it. All right, it's probably Fear the made. Walking Dead. Yeah, <laughs> are we done talking about it? I think we are. <laughs> this I guess so. Into like an how do? Yeah, which I'm fine with. <laughs> um, we got to do some how dos. But uh, yeah, Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, did you really like it at all? I didn't. I didn't enjoy it, <laughs> but no. Okay, that's the verdict here. We didn't really like it at all. It sucked. We'll probably continue watching it though. And if you like it. Fuck you. <laughs> well, well, there you go. I don't take that harsh a stance. That's, but Voss doesn't speak for all I, of us. I am gonna watch, <laughs> I'm going to watch the next episode. No, just we'll, to see we'll probably do, um, maybe like after the next two episodes, we'll do another kind of review. We'll see. And if then we feel that the, the next, next two, uh, there's only six. If we feel that the next episode is really bad, then we will do a review of it. But if it's like <laughs> mediocre, then. Yeah, we'll that's just, the thing. It's kind of like. Falling right in between terrible and good. What? <laughs> so mediocre. Yeah. I'm agreeing with Oxnard. That's no. what I'm saying. I didn't like it. No, I didn't like it, but I'm saying it, but it's not atrocious. It's not like... It's not terrible quality. It's not like The Room or something. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Okay. Hey, the, like, room, the Room is brilliant. Yeah, it is, but only because... Although movies like Birdemic and The Room and other things of that ilk, they're only like brilliant like that because right. they were trying to make and thought they would make something fantastic. I guess I'm, if you try and make something crappy, it doesn't it never turns out like that. If you think about it, the only thing they fucked up is the plot, the acting and the script. That's true. That's Not it. bad. Yeah, it looked pretty good. <laughs> they got the makeup okay. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't even much of it. And casting. Pretty low budget. 
<laughs> they closed a road at some point, so that mm-hmm. involved some sort of police activity. They made a grainy internet video, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a couple people. They, that budget definitely must have had to there have been lower motion. than the Walking Dead budget. They had a preteen and a towel coming out of the shower. You know that <laughs> caters to the oh, pedophile. Yeah. She audience. is, yep. she is like the daughter is way too hot. I think for okay. this family and for the show, like for what's happening, right? She seems too attractive. to I me. thought she looked really familiar, but I don't want to look up her age. She has a Megan Fox <laughs> quality to me. Like she reminds me of Megan Fox. Mm. Okay, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's what I thought when I saw her. But then I'm like, I don't know. Right. The brother is doesn't. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. She's too good looking for the show. I feel like for this for this. Cast. She, she doesn't look related to the brother. No, she in any way. Right. Like okay. it's like oh, the brother uh, should be much better looking, much more handsome. Right. <laughs> should be much hotter. Okay. I understand. The people aren't hot enough. That's my main problem with. Oh, it. the mom is not enough. If I'm going, that's one of my complaints actually. <laughs> if what? <laughs> the mom is not enough. Mom should be Come hotter. On. Yeah. Guidance. This counselor. is Los Angeles. Why hasn't <laughs> yeah. she had plastic surgery? Right. Where's her big <laughs> fake tits? <laughs> And she, why isn't her hair like bleach blonde? She's she should not basically a be. All the time. You know what we should have seen? Here's a scenario for you. It's the Playboy Mansion. Yes. And everybody's got a honker you down. You Hefner is Zombie One. <laughs> he paid oh too, too much Viagra. Yeah. Turned him. <laughs> Viagra is the cause of the zombie apocalypse. No, see, he's used to Viagra. That was fine. He took a Cialis. A That's Viagra. where went wrong. Oh, a shit. Viagra. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's Viagra. Well, he's dead now, isn't he? Or was that a fake thing? <laughs> was that a fake no, thing? Like, he's my head. Text. I thought he died. It was a fake thing. So, wait, is he after still alive? Yes, he, he is. Did. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, Lawson, Lawson doesn't text one time. There, it was a... Then he after had died. Right. And then I was like... <laughs> But then it would turn out it was a fake death rumor. Yeah. And, uh, man, you were, like, shattering worlds oh, there. That was scandalous like, Age 89. He's still 89. Pumping. Still fucking. Yeah, still pumping. Fuck yeah, he is. So he takes, he, he accidentally is. mixes his medications up. <laughs> yes. He's, he receives a Viagra <laughs> instead of a Viagra. No. Viagra zombie. Or, or what happens is one of the, the playmates takes one of those Viagra for women pills and that that causes it. That exists? I think they're making that. How does that work? I don't know. I guess it just makes them horny. It <laughs> might it might help like It's like a grease lubricate yeah, if you know like what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle about it. <laughs> Why? The boss just sticks his hand towards Oxidar's face and starts rubbing his thumb and fingers together. Start it's like it. it's like a grease. It makes him wet. Oh, okay. It's like a grease. I'm trying to be subtle. At least a little bit. Like, they get like a giant gorge clip and then they fuck you. With it. <laughs> no, it's not like that VHS three short film where oh, what does Viagra for women do? It gives him a big tentacle cock. <laughs> tentacle it doesn't come, so you won't get pregnant. <laughs> <I'm a dude. laughs> You're fine, bro. <laughs> Don't worry about it, freak. <laughs> right, well, I'll, Says the pharmacist. I'll look forward to uh, oh. Viagra for women, I guess. And Vi- well, don't take Viagra. But that would be interesting, Hugh Hefner. Yeah. And then, anyway, I imagine like a big party. <laughs> they're, they're, they're in the grotto. Zombie <laughs> floats yeah. to them. Uh. <laughs> Fred Durst is there <laughs> for no reason at all. You know it's just funny? like a big part of it, and then they all have to like bunker down in yeah, the Playboy they mansion. They can have all these celeb cameos because they're at the mansion. Yeah. Y- you know what's funny? <laughs> Hugh Hefner's brother lives with him at the mansion. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> if you were his brother, <laughs> if you were his brother, if you were any relative, if you were any male relative, <laughs> and some women relatives of Hugh Hefner, wouldn't you want to live with him at the mansion? <laughs> I just yeah. like, like it, it would be funny if he didn't. Like that's the only. That's the, I think that's the only thing his brother is known for is that like he just moves in with his brother. Like, hey, I'm gonna hang out here for. Does he like, have to know that he's there? Hey, you know, you, this point. you sloppy seconds for life. Yeah. I don't care, man. I don't even have to come in the house. I'll camp out here on the ground. Yeah. Just let me in. Yeah. Just please. I'll live in the grotto. Oh, Mike, you love just saying the grotto. <laughs> he has a grotto. He's a grotto. Yeah. Zombies in the grotto? You have his brother who just lives? I'll live in the grotto. <laughs> he has <laughs> one. 
Simpson. I don't, even know, I don't even know what the fuck a grotto is. <laughs> a grotto? It sounds like something you put on a pasta. Like, do I shave that like a cheese over <laughs> pasta? What is a grotto? Or, uh, of course your meal is grotto. I'll have the broccoli grotto for dinner. What's that thing where all the uh, skull and bones people meet? Isn't that a grotto, too? <laughs> I don't know. That's a fraternity, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it like a... The grotto's like a cave with a pool. It's the Playboy oh, Mansion yeah. grotto. Nice, okay. The grotto. <laughs> this is educating us on the, gro- the Playboy grotto. Grotto, yeah. a.k.a. fuck cavern. <laughs> yeah. 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 jizz tunnels. <laughs> Basically. The cum cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Anything else about... Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> Lost track. Of what we're we're just thinking of other more interesting zombie scenarios. <laughs> yeah. At the Which grotto. Is all yeah. of them, really. <laughs> zombies at the grotto. There were some zombies. I don't know why that song came to me for the that. The hottest spot north of the grotto. <laughs> the grotto. It's the grotto. Even though I said it was the hottest spot north of the grotto. Zombies are here. Okay. Oh, you get it. Isn't it clear? <laughs> At the oh. hey, was that a deer? What's Hugh Hefner's brother's name? I don't know. I think it's like Reggie or something. <laughs> Probably Reggie Lucky. Hefner. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm Lucky Hefner. <laughs> Lucky Hefner. Okay, wait, hold Look on. Hugh Hefner's brother. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if I was completely wrong. He has no brothers. Oh, and what comes up? Hold on, I'm not going to hit into it yet. As I'm typing in Hugh Hefner's brother, it comes up, Hugh Hefner brother black. <laughs> really? Yeah, Hugh Hefner band of brothers. <laughs> These are options. Keith. Keith. Keith Hefner. <laughs> look oh, at him, look happy. Of course he's, he's happy. <laughs> look at him, he's got I the know. porn stash going and everything. He does, he does look a little black. He likes to. He likes to. Be he likes to tickle him. He looks vaguely black. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Yeah, Keith Hefner. Oh, shirts? here's a picture of the two of them. <laughs> He's tall. Those are, those are two happy men right there. Know, Keith right? Hefner. That might be the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> no, right. he has Plus, to do he no had, work. Yes, no work, and he gets everything. He just hey, does he stand to inherit? <laughs> he might. <laughs> Who else is he going to give it to? The bunnies? No. Yeah, he's not going to... They'll run it into the ground! I don't know what they're doing. He's not going to stand there and look good. Oh my god, that is so funny. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, yeah! Carson <laughs> <laughs> just looked up the funniest picture. He's got to put this on eyes. there. Make sure you put okay. this up. We should tweet it right Ooh. now. Yeah. <laughs> Tweet Keith Hefner. Okay. Does he have a Twitter? Keith? Tweet it at him. <laughs> Just like, good job. <laughs> nice, man. You made it. Props. Oh, my God. This is a man who figured it the fuck out. <laughs> Luckiest yes. man in the world. The funny thing is, it'd be funny if he was just a con artist. He wasn't even his brother. <laughs> I don't. Really oh, like a like a there will be blood situation. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I have something to tell you, Daniel. <laughs> I don't think he's on. I don't think he's. I don't on think Twitter. any of them are. And even if Hugh Hefner is, he's going to be like, it's a representative of. Him. I don't think he knows what computers are. <laughs> I know magazines, and that's it. Can you put your penis in it? <laughs> There's no use for it. Oh, my God. All right. I'm tweeting right now. Yeah, this is a live tweet. What does it say? Keith Hefner, a man who figured it the fuck out. Hashtag fear the walking dead. <laughs> <laughs> tweet it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> that picture is amazing. <laughs> See, Hugh has, like, a, just an air of class about it. He's like, yeah, I have sex with beautiful women all the time, and they live with me in my gigantic mansion. Uh, and, you know, no big deal. And meanwhile, <laughs> Keith is uh, fucking it. freaking out. He's showing it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm happy. <laughs> all right, so we wrap this up? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that conversation about Fear the Walking Dead yes. and our offshoot into something else. It was yes. like a combo. It was like a how-do with the Fear the Walking Dead. Right. Yes. You're lucky. 
Follow us. Subscribe. <laughs> or you're die. Lucky. Subscribe. You're lucky fucks. <laughs> you're not as lucky as Keith Hefner, but you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're almost oh, there. Man. Well, uh, follow us on Twitter. I'm at STS Dexter. STS Oxnard. The STS Boss. And uh, we have a Twitch stream that we do at least twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's... Twitch.tv slash STS Dexter. Yes. And then uh, follow us there and subscribe on our YouTube, youtube.com slash STS Enterprises. We're everywhere. That's right. We're global. Multi platform. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. Fairly well. Adios.